Good morning and welcome to the Senior Hour, which is sponsored by Comfort Keepers in Home Care and Advanced Audiology. I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on KHTS, your hometown station. This is a show for, about, and by seniors, giving information to enhance one's quality of life. And our guests this morning are Kevin McDonald, the Executive Director of the Santa Cruz Senior Center. And later in the hour, we will be speaking with Bob Sheritz, who is a founder of Way Out Recovery Center. Well, good morning, Kevin. How are you? Good morning. Nice to be here. Good. Good to see you again. And tell us about your fundraiser over the weekend. Oh, we had a wonderful, wonderful day out at the at the Reyes Wineries and the Sierra Polona Festival, and uh, just the, the the crowds came out. It was just a beautiful afternoon. And did you raise lots of money? We raised lots of money for the Senior Center. Yes. And they had a good time, and they drank some nice wine, and <laughs> uh, they were accommodated, lots of food as well. So, yeah, it was a beautiful Saturday out there. Wonderful. That is wonderful. Yeah, Judy was telling us about it, Judy Penman. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said it was a really fun day. Really, really fun day. Well, welcome, sir. How are you, Dr. Good Jean? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Barbara. Kevin? Good morning. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yes. So tell us a little bit about what's coming up in the future. We have lots of things going on. You know, we just started a partnership with uh, College of the Canyons, and we're doing a series of classes for the family caregiver, and that's our focus. That's mm-hmm. fantastic. Um, and we really sat down is. on Saturday uh, mm-hmm. with them at the Senior Center with our first class. So there will be four classes all together in the next couple of months. And we just shared stories and resources for families as they navigate the senior world for their loved ones. Um, and a lot of our focus was on taking care of the caregiver as well. <laughs> and, 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 you know, make sure they, they make it through this process Absolutely. and, and uh, they have the resources. So it's a nice series we've set up with College of the Canyons. There'll be a number of series. We'll be working with them in partnership, along with other partners in the community, to offer classes for people that need it. That's mm-hmm. wonderful. You know, that's never happened before. Did you institute that? Well, College of the Canyons and us and several of our friends got together. Um, we saw the need in the community and we hope to bring it forward. That's right. But let's talk about that need because I don't think some people realize how difficult it is for um, the cookie generation, those taking care of their children as well as their uh, adult parents, how difficult that is. It's not an easy chore because you're looking after not just their health care but their financial care and just everything about them and making sure they're okay. So how did, you know, the Senior Center is going to be way ahead in understanding this problem, but how do we let our listeners know what to look for in terms of um, making sure that you as a caregiver are okay as well? You know, and we, we, what we shared with the group on Saturday was to come and sit with us mm-hmm. and let us develop some resources for you to just ease your burden. And I think that that was one of our goals. And the financial picture, what do you need to look for and what do you need to have in order? We also talked about having our books in order and having your loved ones make sure their wishes are really well known and mm-hmm. everything is in one place in the home so you're not scrambling to say, who is that lawyer or who is your financial advisor mm-hmm. when it's the thinking is it not right, quite there at the end. Um, so it's working on that. It's also working on the individual's stress factors. You know, the, the caregiver has so many things going on in their lives and it's making sure they have their backups. Um, our job at the Senior Center, make sure they have resources and make sure they have the right information. We also want to look for what is available in the community to them that's free can, in, instead of just paying for everything along the way. Um, and that's one, one area. And with the, with the number of resources in the Santa Clarita Valley, it's, it's terrific. We just need to make sure people know what those resources are. Yeah, we have a great many resources up here. And you, you can research each of your resources to find out exactly what they do, if they charge exorbitant amounts or whatever, and go to different ones to make a decision. Right. That's the nice thing about it. You're yeah. able to do that. Well, why don't we talk a little bit about the resources that we have here because they're not – you know, not always out there, but I think the Senior Center is working to delineate them and making sure that, you know, the legal help is there, the financial help is there, the the medical help is there, all of that is there, and knowing that 
um, that there are places to turn here in Santa Clarita to allow the caregivers especially, not just the seniors, but the caregivers to say, okay, I need to go in this direction and I have these options. So, you know, let's, let's look at the resources and say, start putting them out there. What, what some of our caregivers need in terms of, you know, marching in the right direction, assuring that our seniors are okay. Right. Well, I think one of the key things is who's going to take care of their loved one when they can't be there. What are the respite yeah. options? And respite's a, a funny term, but it's really how do we give the caregiver a break? Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, at the at the senior centers, we have a day program for folks mm -hmm. with Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. Uh, that's available for, for folks up to six hours a day. Um, so that's one option. But there's a number of caregiver resources <coughs> and vendors and suppliers out there. And what we can do is give the individual the list and the phone numbers and they can go through saying what do they need for their particular family mm -hmm. and what are the resources available in their individual family and then what are the financial consequences of those types of things mm -hmm. so it's that one stop in our support services department um, and then we can help guide you also have the, the legal challenges and we can guide you to some of the free legal services and sign up for them we have a group that comes in twice a month um, to the senior center to assist us with that so we're not going to be your legal advisors but we will give you the resources of who's good at doing that um, and many of those folks uh, give us their pamphlets and their information at the senior center you know the adult daycare uh, that we have at the senior center is uh, helps especially those caregivers who have to work or have certain obligations to other family members maybe that they need to that they can do those obligations yet still be taking care of their loved ones and you know it's a pretty much of a, a drop-off service you know you you know you bring your senior <coughs> loved one over and you know there's somebody there to take them by the hand and make sure they're okay for four or five maybe even six hours a day uh, and you know gives you that time to take to do the things you need to do yeah, you know that's available Monday through Friday, and you're right, from about 8 to 1 o'clock, they can be dropped off there. We have wonderful staff ready to take care of people. A lunch is included. Even the breakfast snack is included. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it's just we need to get the word out, though, so people are not stranded at home, and they can call the senior center, see if they're eligible for the service, and then come on down because we do have openings. And, of course, nutrition is a problem, and we at the senior center for years – uh, and Barbara knows because she was a home delivered meal driver <coughs> in the past, but she knows that you know nutrition is going to be key for our seniors to ward off um, uh, health problems and maintain their mobility and things like that. So it's important that we have people who are a senior center that provides lunches. And not only that, as we all know, that you can go to the senior center and not only get a, a lunch, but you can also get entertained at the same time. So, you know, it is a, it's a, it's a great place, but, you know, nutrition is another need for our seniors when, you know, some of them, I, when I do my house calls, I open the refrigerator and nothing's there. You know, they have more cat food and dog food than they do human food. And so that, <laughs> you know, the, the senior center is providing uh, for our seniors in this community to make sure their nutrition is okay as well. You know, you know, it sure is. And that starts with the original legislation of the Old Americans Act demanding nutritious meals for our seniors. It goes down through the state of California, then goes down to our great county of Los Angeles, who makes sure all those meals are nutritious. And they check out every single recipe we do. And they make sure they're meeting the qualifications that are needed. So is it is that, that right? much of a regimented process uh -huh. so that when the, the meal comes out, it meets the nutrition requirements mm -hmm. governed by the, the county of Los Angeles mm -hmm. and the state and the federal government. So it's really an interesting process, but it ones that provides quality and then we provide the food. That's wonderful. I did not realize mm -hmm. that, but that's, mm -hmm. that's good news for people listening. Sure, and then so you know that you they want know that their food is well balanced, it's nutritious, and it's good for them. It's well balanced, so you're <laughs> going to have a variety of things on that plate, mm -hmm. <laughs> for sure. But the other thing that the senior center does is the is maintain our seniors' mobility, and that's pretty key and important. We're not going to, you know give you driving lessons or get your driver's license back that's not going to happen but we will 
give you mobility enough to be able to move around with a cane or a walker um, and still have good quality of life at home. But we have exercise programs and uh, those exercise programs has been a stalwart of allowing our seniors to be able to uh, continue their lives in a way at home uh, that uh, enhances what they're doing. So th there's many, many exercise programs. Whenever I go over there, I have to kind of cut through everybody and just be wary and uh, afraid sometimes that because they're so actively doing their exercise that they don't whack me a few times. Mm -hmm. So, but, <laughs> but the, it is there. <clears throat> And from Tai Chi to different exercise, chair exercises, you name it, we have it over there for our seniors. We sure do. And from, for all levels of activity. So, you know, there's no stereotypical or typical senior in this world because our seniors ra age ranges from 60 to 100. Mm -hmm. So everyone's at different levels. So we try to accommodate those physical needs and physical desires. Well, now, upcoming is going to be the new SCV Senior Center. And where is that going to be located? The uh, new center is going to be located at the uh, Golden Valley Road, where it meets New Hall Ranch Road. And if you just take a right up into the hill a little bit where the new developments are going on, uh, we have three acres right over there to your right. Um, and it's a flat piece of parcel right now. They're building some houses around us. Um, so we're looking forward to, to getting in there this year. But we have a challenge ahead of us. And we want to make sure the uh, community knows about that challenge. We've raised quite a bit of money so far. We've mm -hmm. had generous support from the, from the city of Santa Clarita, from the county of Los Angeles, and now we're out into the community saying, would you be a part of the new senior center? That's gonna be there for many, many years in the future. Yes, it will. And we want you to have your name on it. We want you to be a part of that. We want you to tell your grandkids, hey, I helped build that center because I invested in it when we built it back mm -hmm. in 2017. And wouldn't that be a legacy to leave? It really would really really would but you know we we the, the community is vested is going to be vested in the new senior center and um you know we talked about helping caregivers out those caregivers will one day be the receivers of care and we have to make sure th those caregivers understand that what the resources that are get they're getting right now they're going to be using later in life so we have to harness those people who are out there living in this community. You might have kids who are five or six years old. Hey, that's fine. But you have to remember that, yeah, they're your grandparents and yourselves will be using what we have now, but at the new senior center. And we need to get it financed. We need your help, you know, bringing the monies in to be able to do that. And you know, Gene, we're, we're, we're getting closer. We're, it feels like we're in the seventh inning, maybe the eighth inning right mm -hmm. now, because we we're just $2 million short. If we raise $2 million in the next couple of months, we'll start digging in late August. Mm -hmm. But we need everyone just to pitch in a little bit. And we have some really, really easy ways to give. Um, one is the website, the famous website, newseniorcenter.com. Um, so it's newseniorcenter.com, as simple as that. Or you can always call the senior center and make a contribution. Um, you can always call us at 661-259-9444. Ask for myself, Kevin McDonald, or one of our staff. We're happy to help you out. And we also have envelopes in the hallway to, to put a little something in the envelope uh, for the future. Now, I, I honestly think, you know, I'm going to try to work on um, our physicians at the hospital because they uh, take care of our seniors uh, in, in their health and their care uh, when they get ill. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, investing in a senior center, of course, will keep their patients healthy. And I, I have to look toward uh, those, the element in our community of physicians who I think need <coughs> to help us out with this. Well, you know, it's what do you, you know, the question is, what are you investing in? I mean, mm -hmm. are we investing in the typical senior center or a modern senior center? We want to build a senior center where you're going to be comfortable in no matter what level you're at. We want to be, we're going to develop a senior center where you want to hang out at, that you want to go to mm -hmm. with, with the fireplace and the lounge um, and just different things that you don't even think of that you really, really want to go to or bring your loved one to mm -hmm. um, and share some time with people. It may be the billiards hall. It may be the beautiful banquet hall uh, holding almost 300 people in the banquet hall with a carpeted and round tables, um, seven multi-purpose rooms, a fitness center, a dance studio, 
uh, you name it, we're going to have it there in an outside venue for concerts. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's interesting. Russ and I took a trip um, up the northern, up to Northern California and into Oregon and Washington and came back down the other way. And every large town we stopped at, we visited the senior centers. Mm -hmm. And some of those senior centers are incredible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you make sure, and they were full. Mm -hmm. and they were absolutely full because people would be completely jammed into the eating areas. Then you'd mm -hmm. find some playing billiards. Mm -hmm. They even had a bowling hall in wow. one of them, which was it was incredible. And but Rob and I do the amazing. same thing. Whenever we travel <coughs> around, we, we try to go to senior centers because we're curious as to what we have versus what they have. And, mm -hmm. you know, we're always taking notes. You mm -hmm. know, we, I mean, we see many aspects of other senior centers that we, we have at ours and beyond that at ours. Uh, but there are clues and sometimes good modeling for us to take that back with us and share it. And we've implemented some of those things at our senior center. But the best part about our seniors center is the socialization. You know, the, our seniors get to go there and this is a part of life. As, as Barbara has said before in the past, she'll go deliver meals to the seniors and that might be the only interaction of the day. That's right. For, mm -hmm. for that senior. But with having a, a senior center that they want to come to, that socialization will be maintained. It sure will. It sure will. We're going to offer lots of opportunity for that kind of socialization. Well, you know, I'm looking at this card. It's SCV oh, yeah. Senior Center about the new senior center. And some of the things that you offer is you've mentioned a fitness center, banquet facilities, advanced technology center, culinary arts center, expanded adult day program, employment center, health and wellness center, center for senior rights, a bistro cafe, a, final, a financial center, and more. Now that is... That is, oh, whoa. There's no doubt. You, you couldn't get it any more comprehensive than that. I and mean, I, it covers everything. I remember the county <coughs> came up and they, at the senior center, and they were, it was a county meeting, and I guess they take it to different parts of the county, and they brought up their brochures and uh, their, um, the data on the programs that senior centers across our county have. And when I looked at it, they came up and they were saying uh, to us, uh, you know, we're coming here because we're looking at your senior center, but I pointed out that I, I think you should be asking us questions on the great senior center that we have because <coughs> all the programs that uh, we have, some of the, many of the senior centers did not have. Right. So we have everything, and, but we have to continue allowing that to happen and if we don't allow that to happen you know we're what are our seniors going to do there and just remember all you caregivers out there you know the sandwich generation make sure that you look into your pocket make sure you look at your loved ones and make sure you look in the mirror because uh, you will be there one day and this is the time to be able to make this investment uh, that our seniors need in our community it, it, it certainly is. And all those things that Barbara talked about are happening. They're happening this year. Mm -hmm. As we walk into the new center, they'll have that health and wellness center. They'll have that fitness center. They'll have a center where you can learn about financial issues. Um, and that's what we owe this beautiful Santa Cruz community. And Absolutely. that's what we're going to produce for now, them. Now, I've, I've noticed it says a brand new 30,000 square foot two-story venue. Why a two-story? Some seniors can't walk upstairs. <laughs> it, it's good exercise. That's called that's mobility some, training. That's true, but it's also some called seniors are not mobile. And you're but absolutely we'll have, right. We'll have elevators. And the, the elevator will bring us up to upstairs for some private conference rooms to meet with different counselors. And we also wanted to offer that opportunity. So there will be an elevator to those conference rooms and to meet with counselors as you need it, because you need that privacy. Yes, mm -hmm. you do. You really do. Wow. But, and there was one last thing I wanted to mention, Kevin, uh, in terms of donations, I think there was, um, you know, just as incentive, uh, if you donated $500 or more, that there would be a, 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 a donation tree or 
Yeah, you know, th there's lots of opportunities from that. We started $500 to be play your name placed on the donor wall as you donor walk wall. into the new senior center. Up to we still have naming opportunities. We have name opp and naming opportunities in the building starting at 25000 Many of the rooms you can put your name on the building or your family name for 50000 So there's other opportunities that are still available in the senior center to really make a mark. But yes, the initial one would be $500 to be on our donor wall um, and then on upward as, as your means uh, can provide. Wow. So wow. once again, that phone number is 259-9444, the Senior Center, trying to raise the funds. Let's get out there, everybody. we got to uh, take the wagons and surround this whole thing and get it going so we can put the shovels in the ground and get moving on this. You got it. That's right. And thanks for coming, Kev Kevin. We'll see you in maybe next month, and we can talk a little more about the progress. That Terrific. sounds great. Thank you for your support. And bring Terrific. your shovel. Yes. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'm Barbara Cochran with my co-host, Dr. Jean Dorio, on KHTS, your hometown station.